This is the code in action video for chapter 2. In the first code example of chapter 2, we created our own custom new state hook from scratch. We can see that when we start the application, of course, assuming that you have already run npm install as always, we can see that our application renders two input fields. We have already solved the problem of defining multiple hooks. So now we can enter something in the first name field and it will show up as the first name and something in the last name field and it will show up as the last name. So everything works correctly here. Now let's take a look at the second code example. In the second code example, we had we looked at the problem of defining conditional hooks. We added a checkbox which enables the first name so right now the first name field is disabled and I'm trying to type something but I cannot type into this field. However, the last name field is enabled, it's always enabled. And this checkbox actually enables the use of the first name field. But as we have learned, conditional hooks, do, you should not define hooks conditionally. So when we press the checkbox here, we can see that the first name field now has the contents of the last name field and the last name field is now empty. This is because now this, this is always the first hook, the checkbox state, then the first name state, and then the last name state. So what happens when we check the checkbox is the first, the first name field hook gets enabled, which means that now this is the first, before this is the first hook, this is the second hook. And now this is the first hook, this is the second hook, and this is the third hook. And that is why the second hook now has the contents from the last name field. If we now enter something into the last name field as well, we can see that when we check it again, now it switches around again, because now again, this is the first hook, this is the second hook, and this is not doesn't have a hook assigned to it. In the third example, we solved this problem and we used a very simple solution, which is just always defining all the hooks. So we are not conditionally defining the first name field hook anymore. We are now always defining all three hooks. So the order of hooks stays the same, no matter what we, if, no matter if the checkbox is checked or not. So now we can enter the first name and the last name. As we can see, the first name field is disabled right now. But when we check the checkbox, it gets enabled and the state is available. 